Cheers, guys. Epics 911, welcome to the Elitist Geek. VR news for July 22nd on a Friday. Woo! <laughs> Love my Fridays. Game and night. Game and is here. It's only a good thing. First news bit I want to talk about has to do with the Virtuex Omni. Now, the Virtuex Omni has been around for quite a while in terms of, you know, the age of this current generation of VR. I remember seeing it for the initial uh, Rift development kits in video form. Well, they're now going to be uh, supported officially on a couple of games, but keep in mind, pretty much any game that has gamepad control or keyboard will work with the uh, Virtuex Omni. So it's not, if you read that article, it almost sounds, and I'll link it, it almost sounds like they're saying it's only capable of two games. That's not the case. It can play much more. It's being natively supported by the two games I'm going to talk about, and that's um, uh, Toon Wars, World War Toons, World War Toon, something like that. World War Toon. There we go. And it's native support. The other one is a game called Crisis Action. So both of those are going to have native support, but you can play it on other ones. Now, the price tag is a little hefty. It's $699 bucks, uh, US. So if you add that in, you know, you've bought your Vive or your Rift, you've done the, you know, PC gaming upgrades that you needed to do, $700 bucks is going to be a lot, right? I get that. Um, for me too. Even with the toys that I have, especially the VR ones, which is really because I just I wanted to support VR, have both units, have the PlayStation. I'm probably not going to extend that to the Omni, at least not yet. And it's not that I'm waiting for more. Like I said, there's more than enough content you could enjoy on it, VR-wise even, uh, especially Rift games. You know, a lot of those have have those uh, have the gamepad support, but it's more a financial thing. Just wait on it. And maybe, you know, six months to a year, I'm going to revisit it and, and look at it. But if any of you happens to have it out there, let me know what it's like. Is it is it worth it? My big complaint, really the only complaint, other than the fact that where are you going to find the floor space, right, is the fact that you're exercising. And I don't mean we should, you know, all be people who don't exercise. I just mean I don't always want to exercise when I play video games. I want to sit, not run. Time and place for that. And you know what? If I'm pissed off and I'm, you know, want to get into some FPS action, I can see the Omni being an awesome thing. I can see it being great for stealth first person games, you know, games like Skyrim, RPGs that are first person. But sometimes, a, you know, a gamer just wants to sit on the couch, controllers in hand, and play that way. So, 700 bucks gets you a pretty cool device but I have a feeling a lot of people having just went through the expense of purchase are probably going to hold off a little bit on that don't blame them it's what I'm doing but if you happen to have one let me know I want to know I want to know what it's like the next story concerns the mammoth behemoth NVIDIA next generation Titan X this thing is a monster it's 3584 CUDA cores are about a thousand cores more than the 1080, 1200 bucks. So US, you're looking at probably about $400 difference for on average about 25% performance difference over that. So over the 1080, right? So is it worth the money then? Probably not, not based on a you know dollar per performance ratio, but if you want the fastest, that's definitely the card. Lay the money down. But I'd probably 25%. Would I settle with that and buy an Omni? If somebody handed me the money and that's all I could spend it on, either or? No, I would. Okay, I would go for the Titan X. <laughs> I would still go for the Titan X. For yes, 25% performance. I'm cheap. What can I say? They'll have me for 25%. But it's... Pascal capable, so it's going to have the same VR potential goodies that the 1060, 70, and 80 have. But again, the games have to take those into account and use them for that to be effective. If and when they do, that's going to be a huge differentiator um, 
but we're still out on the benchmarks. And that's something I want to get back to is the benchmarks with the latest NVIDIA driver. A few of you have asked me about that. I just, with work this week, with that server crash, I just haven't had a chance to check. But yeah, is that the case? You know, have they got that all addressed with the latest driver? I don't know. I hope to find out this weekend. I'm going to do benchmarks. I'm going to roll back my driver, go with the old one, test it in raw data, which is a game specifically mentioned as benefiting in the driver, and then try it with the new the new and pretty much do the same thing and I'll let you know the next thing I want to talk about has to do with the Viewmaster VR unit now this thing is basically an old-school Viewmaster that you can use with Google Cardboard it looks pretty cool for basically legacy Viewmaster stuff and 360 degree Google Cardboard content so that's kind of cool the issue with the Viewmaster, keep in mind, is it's mostly just stereoscopic pictures. Now, it has a huge, colossal back library. Uh, you just have to go onto eBay and, you know, look up Viewmaster stuff. And there are all kinds of cool, rare, and awesome, you know, pop reference things going way back. There's some really cool stuff out there and there's collectors of that, right? So if you're into that, absolutely for 40 bucks, I think it is for the unit, that's not too bad. What it also would probably be good for is you got a kid, they're too young possibly for VR, you give them one of those. You gotta hit that magic age though. They're old enough to use something, but they're not old enough to, to the point where they know you're pulling a fast one on them. <laughs> and what they're experiencing isn't what you're experiencing with the HMD. So be careful because that age happens. Been there, done that. So you can get that. That's on uh, Gizmodo, has the article. I'll have the link in the bottom if you want to see some more information on that. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. It is gaming time almost. And, well, you know, gaming is a good thing. Yo, bro. Arcade challenge time. You got it, bro. Arcade challenge time, guys. Got to go. <laughs> Have a good one. Till next time. Cheers.